Hi everyone, I'm sorry it's been a while since I've done a video. I've just really been waiting to find out what's been going on and what the next stage of the journey um, will will be. So fortunately, um, DT Pace did do its job and my PET scan was clear and my paraprotein in my blood is now undetectable. So we were able to move forward to the stem cell transplant. Um, so here I am, I'm, I'm in hospital. Um, I'm in a room on the ward. It's been a little bit of a palaver getting here because I was meant to be admitted on the 14th and unfortunately they didn't have any beds available. So I did stay in the ambulatory unit, which is um, basically an outpatient accommodation on site. So um, it's very nice. It's a, a little flat with four rooms and a shared lounge and kitchen area. Um, and you can just come backwards and forwards to hospital each day. Um, but I did, I was really keen to get on the ward because so I could unpack and I could settle down because obviously that's ultimately where I where I need to be once my treatment starts and your bloods all drop and you become very very vulnerable so anyway rolled with it for one night um, and arrived at hospital yesterday morning hoping to start treatment um, the first thing that we we have is um, a very strong chemo called melphalan chemo which basically kills every cell in your body. And as you can imagine, they can't administer that level of chemo without rescuing you with your own stem cells. Um, that's what I'm having. Some people have donor stem cells, but, but I'm able to use my own stem cells, which you may remember they were successfully harvested um, in... August so I'll be getting those back and then it's a little bit of a waiting game because obviously your blood start to to drop off those levels hit zero and how long I'm in hospital um, will very much depend on how quickly those stem cells start doing their job so yes yesterday I was hoping to get started with the chemo part of that process um, unfortunately because I'm still of a childbearing age, we have to do pregnancy tests each time I have treatment. And there was just a little concern over a very faint um, positive line on the urine pregnancy test. Um, so I then had to have a blood test, um, a blood pregnancy test, just to confirm that all is well. And um, hopefully not pregnant and then can start the, the treatment so by the time that result came back um, it was all a bit too late to start treatment and there wasn't a bed well I was told there wasn't a bed on the ward um, so I, I walked on back to to the uh, ambulatory accommodation um, kind of feeling a little bit disappointed and and um, I understand but you know you, you psych yourself up so so much to come in for this that it did just feel um, like everything was all over the place but fortunately I found out at 4.30 yesterday I'm not pregnant yay um, which I kind of knew so um, but you do get worried for a second and then um, I was also phoned about five o'clock to say that they had a bed and a room available on the ward so I'm in I'm unpacked and um, had a good night's sleep and I'm waiting to start treatment today with the Melphalan chemo. So I'm starting on my ice lollies at about 10 o'clock um, and the chemo will start at 10.30. Um, the ice is to for me to have during while the chemo is administered because it can um, really dry out your mouth and cause lots of mouth and throat infections. It's got a name and I can't remember how to say it. So, um, but they reckon by, by sucking on the ice, it really helps. So, sorry, someone just asked me if I wanted a hot drink. Um, right, so what I thought I'd do is give everyone a little tour 
of, of the room just very quickly. Um, so I'm going to turn you around and I know there's a lot of people in a, a Myeloma Facebook group that I'm part of that are, uh, haven't been in for stem cells and are quite curious as to what the room looks like. So um, I'm going to turn you around. I'm going to start at the door and then we'll, um, we'll, we'll see how, um, we'll how it goes and I'll try and be quick. Right. So I'm standing at the door. It's all it's all very basic, but it's it's all very clean. Um, you have your own fridge, and of course, every hospital is going to be is going to be different. Um, got a few little supplies in there for myself, um, but I do believe that all rooms as standard have a fridge. Um, so. I had a lot of luggage. Um, there's quite a bit of storage. You know, you can keep your food in there which is great a chair that reclines so you can sit and watch your netflix um bed i bought in my own duvet because i just find it more comfortable and more homely especially if i'm going to be in here a few weeks um i also bought my hot water bottle good tip hospitals are always freezing in my opinion so um i'll be filling that up and having that while they uh they give me the ice pops anyway um and then just sort of further storage on here where you can put your bits and pretty small wardrobe um, but you know nonetheless there's a wardrobe um, I have got the best view I'm so lucky I have been given the view of um, all the cars coming into the car park so that's really pretty I'm really happy about that um, I'll just take you obviously each room has its own bathroom Again, you know, it's all very, it's all very clean um, and, and very, very functional, um, but it works. It works and you can get your stuff out and uh, yeah, this, this is probably going to be my home for the next two to four weeks, as I said, depending on how quickly those stem cells do their job and, and I recover and, and I can go home. So... There you go. Um, fingers crossed, should be starting soon and I will catch up with you all as soon as I can. Take care, bye.